In this problem, I want to show you guys how you can figure out what the remainder is without having to do long division or synthetic division. But before we do that, let's use synthetic division to determine what the remainder is before we use the evaluation method. We're going to take our coefficients from the polynomial, which is 2, 2, negative 12, negative 8, and then we want to use the opposite sign of negative 2, which is positive 2, that goes on the outside. Now we need to bring down this first number. We are going to multiply on the outside. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we are going to combine on the inside. 4 plus 2 is 6. Repeat that process. Let's multiply on the outside. 2 times 6 is 12. Combine on the inside. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. One more time. 2 times 0 is 0. Combine. Negative 8 plus 0 is negative 8. Negative 8 is going to be the remainder. So now what we want to do is we want to use the evaluation method and see if we can get negative 8 as a remainder here. Let's erase this. So now what we have to do is we have to take the binomial, which is x minus 2, and we want to set it equal to 0. x minus 2 equals 0, you add to the other side. That's why we take the opposite sign. This is the value we're going to use for x when we evaluate, and we are going to substitute the value of x, which is 2, everywhere we see x in the polynomial. But we're going to use the calculator. We're going to use something called the Stowe function in the calculator here. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Got a new calculator. We can program the calculator to use the value of 2 everywhere it sees x. To do that, you press 2. We're going to go to Stowe, which is store, to x. Now, every time we press the x variable, it knows to substitute 2 into whatever we're typing. Let's type in our polynomial, which was 2x to the third power plus 2x squared minus 12x minus 8. And you can see here it gives us a remainder of negative 8, which is what we got the first time. Now, if you don't have access to the calculator, this is what it would look like doing this. I would call it the by hand method. So here we go. We're going to say 2 times the value of x is 2 to the third power. All I'm doing is substituting what x is here. Plus 2 times the value of x, which is 2, to the second power. Now we're going to do minus 12 times 2 minus 8. We need to look at our exponents first here. We're going to evaluate the exponents. It's 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Plus 2 to the second power is 4. All right. Let's jump over to multiply. We're going to multiply here. 2 times 8 is 16. Plus and multiply here. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2 times 12, negative 12 is negative 24. That's why we're subtracting. Minus 8. 16 plus 8 is 24. Bring down what you have left. 24 minus 24 is going to cancel. And you can see here that we're left with a remainder of 8.